Hey what's up guys and welcome to my new mini series where I'm gonna teach you how to animate stuff in Unreal. In this video we're gonna go over treasure chest and how to make it to where it opens and closes whenever we interact with it. We're gonna use a very simple method of animating, you don't need to know basically anything and the way we are gonna animate it is through rotation and using a timeline. So we're gonna need a model for it. In the link in the description you, you can go there download the model for free and use it however you want. I made it myself so there is no copyright on it or anything. But Something that we are gonna notice is that there is two models here. There is the body and there is the lid of the treasure chest. And this is important to note because when we are animating things like treasure chest, you need to have two different parts of them. And on top of that, it's important to know where the pivot point of the lid is. So if I go here and I'm just gonna quickly show you, I'm gonna click on show pivot point. You're gonna see that it's in the back and it's important to have it there because that's the origin point. And when we are rotating, we need to rotate from that point if it's gonna be in the center how many models and 3d meshes do it it's not gonna work properly so just make sure that whatever models you are using have correct pivot point so without out of the way let's actually create this so we are gonna create a blueprint class of actor i'm gonna call mine just treasure chest and we're gonna open it okay first we are gonna add the static mesh for the body so i'm just gonna name it body and i'm gonna search for the imported static mesh and then i'm gonna add another static mesh and I'm gonna call it lit. It's nice to have them named so we know which one is which and I'm just gonna select it and import it. Now we are just gonna align it quickly. Okay, looks good enough to me. So I'm gonna just implement my interaction interface. So I'm gonna go into settings, interface, and I'm gonna search for in interaction BPI. If you don't have interaction system of your own, there is a video on my channel. You can go there, check it out and learn how to make it. So I'm just gonna delete all of these events. And I'm gonna right click on interacted and implement event. This fires off every time we interact with it. I'm gonna create a new variable called opened. And I'm just gonna get it here. I'm gonna get a branch and plug it in like so. Plug opened into the branch. And now we need to create a timeline. So search for timeline, add timeline. I'm gonna call this open timeline. And what timeline is, is basically think of it like a line with specific points. The length of the line is specified in time and the certain points are assigned certain values. It's really easy once you actually see it. So let's double click it. And now we have this new window open. So we are going to need to add a new track and we are want to add float track. We're going to call this open track. Uh, we're going to set the length to 0.5 i find that works just well then we are gonna hold down the shift and left click to create a new point and then we are gonna do it again somewhere on the line to create a second point the first point selected as you can see it's blue that means it's selected now we have time and value so we are gonna set time to zero and enter and then value to zero as well uh, we're gonna select the second point and set the time to 0.5 and then value to negative 75. This is basically how far opened it's gonna be. I find that the negative 75 works just fine. So we're gonna just compile. Now we can close this. And the force is gonna go into play from the start. Then we are gonna get the lid, drag from there and set the relative uh, rotation like this and plug it into update. And then I'm just gonna set opened and we are gonna set it as true because now the treasure chest is gonna be open then we are gonna right click the new rotation split it and the open track is gonna go into the new rotation x make sure it's x and not something else and that's basically it now we need to close it as well so i'm just gonna select all of these and duplicate them then i'm just gonna plug it into true and play from the start and make sure opened is set not true. Uh, first I'm gonna select the timeline and press F2 and I'm gonna rename it to close timeline so we know which one is which and then we are gonna double click it and basically we just need to reverse it. So click on the first point, set uh, time is gonna be zero and the value is gonna be negative 75 and then select the second point, the time is gonna be still the same but the value is gonna be zero and that's it. Now if we go, we place it into the world we hit play and now when I go I interact with the treasure chest it opens I interact with it again it closes and yeah that's basically it thanks for watching I hope you found this helpful if you did leave a like subscribe it really helps out the channel and once again thanks for watching Merry Christmas by the way and see ya